mistress, you look so wrongly at the lad. Perhaps you marked not what's the catch and all. This is uh, our adaptation of Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. It's uh, it's kind of a wild adaptation. Uh, we're really fortunate to have um, a person uh, from New York City, uh, Christy Artinian, who's the artistic director of a company there who did this particular adaptation, this edit of the of Taming of the Shrew. And uh, it's a little uh, turned on its head. Usually Taming of the Shrew is uh, um, Kate and Petruchio are the central characters, and this is turned around, and now it's Kent and Petruchia. And uh, as opposed to having it set in Italy, we've changed a few names, and so it's set right here in Hopkinton, right here in Massachusetts. And uh, so it's a very modern adaptation. It's very slick, very fast adaptation. I think very funny, and you know we're enjoying uh, we're enjoying playing with it. Absolutely. Now, what kind of uh, audience would you recommend? Uh uh, for this, is it friendly to all ages? I mean, it is. I don't. Uh, I. I don't think there's anything in it that's you know cuts b above PG-13. You know, uh, it's certainly all Shakespeare's words, really. Uh, it's just our cutting and adaptation of it. Some of the names are changed. So, you know, I think uh, little little kids might not get a lot of it, but there's a lot of physical comedy involved. So, you know, I think anybody can enjoy it. Now, could you talk about some of your history as a director? Have you done a lot of work here in Hopkinton? Have you done a lot of outdoor performances like this? I've done a lot of outdoor theater. Uh, this is my first time with this particular company. Uh, I've directed in New York, uh, directed in Boston. I've worked as a actor in Boston for quite a lot, quite a while. And um, yeah, I mean, I've done quite a bit of Shakespeare, uh, directed Much Ado probably most recently in 2012 in New York City. And so, yeah, this is my first chance to work with this group of people, and they're fabulous. We're having a really just having a blast playing with the play. Excellent. Could you explain the process of getting this show together? Was it a long process? Did it take? A, I'm sure it took a lot of work. Well, yeah, we we rehearse over a span of about six weeks. Everybody, you know, has their own jobs, and they come to it, and it's it's incredible working with uh, this group of people because you know everybody's you know, puts in a full day's work and then they come and they bring such great energy and love of doing theater to the process. And so we get together, you know, a few times a week and just uh, spend a few hours just enjoying the play, learning a lot about, you know, what Shakespeare is really saying. And that's a big part of it. I think one of the strengths of the piece is that people will walk away really getting it, really hearing the play and really hearing the story. And that's something that I'm, you know, really it's a big part of what I try to do with Shakespeare is make it really understandable. I sort of grew up uh, watching Ke uh, Kenneth Branagh movies and and really enjoyed being able to actually hear and understand Shakespeare vis-a-vis uh, -vis his work. So that's what I try to make sure that happens in every uh, piece that I direct of Shakespeare's. Now, obviously, doing a, a performance outdoors, weather certainly is a little bit of a factor, but uh, tonight's weather seems to be perfect for rehearsals, perfect and it's weather, looking yeah. like a good uh, a good weekend as well. Yeah, we got a nice breeze. I mean, I've done a lot of outdoor theater, and uh, it's always a challenge, uh, but in a lot of ways, it's kind of like uh, the difference between, uh, you know, seeing a concert at TD Garden and seeing, like, an outdoor concert. You really get the spirit of, like, the people and the experience of being outside, it can be a lot of fun, you know, and you can, you know, bring your lawn chairs and, you know, a little snack and kind of really kick back after a long day and enjoy the play.